Okay. When you go to glaze, this piece has been bisque fired, and which means it's been fired in the kiln already at 1825 degrees. So first you will wipe it off with a damp sponge on the outside and then on the inside to get off any dust. The goal here is just to get all the extra dust off that will keep the glaze from sticking. All right, after she's done doing that, she's gonna check and make sure that the glaze lid is on. And then, She's going to shake it with both hands. Mm -hmm. It's not <laughs> to mix it up. Then carefully open it. Go ahead, open it. Mm -hmm. Now she's ready to glaze. She's going to start on the inside of the piece. She's going to use a medium amount of glaze on her brush. No drips falling off. All right, now next time she's going to add a little more glaze because it's a thicker glaze. It depends on the glaze. There you go. And she's gonna make sure that all of the bisque is covered. Each pot is shaped differently, so it will take a different amount of time. This one is very unique, so it will take more time to make sure that all the bisque is covered. So once you're done on the entire inside, you're gonna lift it up just like that. So we're pretending that the middle is done. And now she's going to um, add glaze starting on the bottom, making sure that it doesn't go onto the very bottom of the piece. We need a dry, what's called a dry foot. It needs to have bisque only on the bottom, no glaze. She's going to make sure that the brush goes both directions and making sure that there's glaze covering all of the bisque. So now we're going to pretend she did all around the bottom and she's gonna put it, around, put it down and do all around the top. Make sure your piece is completely covered with glaze. Good luck.